Welcome to Table Talk, where we explore how faith and daily living intersect. I'm Adassa, and today we are diving into a topic that's crucial for our overall well-being, mental health. As Christians, we are called to care for our bodies, minds, and spirits, and today we'll focus on how we can prioritize our mental health. First on the list is understanding mental health. Now let's lay the groundwork. What's it about? Mental health is about more than just avoiding mental illness. It's about nurturing a state of well-being where we can thrive emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. Mental health encompasses our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also influences how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. And from a Christian perspective, understanding mental health can be deeply intertwined with our spiritual lives. The Bible expressly speaks to the condition of the heart and mind. For example, Philippians 4, 6-7 encourages us to bring our worries to God and find peace through prayer. Let's delve into how scripture addresses mental well-being. One key verse is Romans 12 verse 2, which says, Do not be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This transformation involves allowing God's truth to reshape our thinking and emotions. Don't be conformed by the world's decorative term for depression and mental health struggles or even struggles tricking you to embrace it. God has made you all live in that reality. Psalm 42, 11 offers another powerful insight. It says, why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God for I will yet praise him, my savior and my God. This passage reminds us that even in moments of distress, hope in God can guide us through. Now let's talk about practical steps to prioritize mental health. Start by integrating daily practices into your routine that support mental well-being. This includes exercising. It relieves stress. Trust me, makes you feel lighter, not just physically, but mentally. Have you ever wondered why people going through breakups suddenly eat the gym? Why do you think they do? Exercising works wonders, trust me. Exercise has been shown to release um. Endorphins, sometimes referred to as feel-good hormones. Practicing music therapy helps. Even Saul in the Bible could testify that it worked by driving those demons away. Here's one you should not joke with, especially as a Christian. Prayer and word meditation, not yoga. <laughs> bring all this can bring peace and perspective. Setting aside time for self-care and rest is also crucial. You might get to discover that the reason you're feeling mentally drained is because you are low on vitamin D. Take care of yourself. Don't skip your vitamins. And don't forget about community. Hebrews 10, 24-25 encourages us to meet together and support one another. There's a reason for that. Engaging in a church group or support network can provide encouragement and accountability. Let me be vulnerable for a second. I recently celebrated my birthday and that very day happened to be the saddest for me. Maybe it's the age I was turning or thoughts of accomplishment and all, but I was depressed. I could say that I was for the first time in my life. It was horrible. People were calling, praying as my birthday now, but I was crying inside till I could no longer hold it in. God home after work was alone and it dark thoughts it. But thank God for connections. Thank God for community. My neighbors just suddenly called me, unbeknownst to them about my struggles in it. Their actions made the old depression thing poof into the hair. Now, that's the power of having people around you. You don't necessarily have to say it out. But surrounding yourself, like at that moment, but surrounding yourself with Positive people works wonders. We are down to overcoming stigma and seeking help. Let me share a short story. I saw a program years back where the governor spoke on mental health, shared a story about a woman who had recently put to bed and was struggling with postpartum depression. It was really bad. 
women go through a lot of changes in their bodies, you know. Women deserve so much and more. We really should talk about this. So this woman was going through a lot privately. One day she was alone in the house with the baby upstairs. She went down to the kitchen to whip up something just to console herself. And she cited her beautiful knife set. And that evil thought became, <laughs> and that evil thought, you know, came and it became a soft whisper, urging her to hurt herself with it. Thank God for the doorbell. She was literally saved by the doorbell. Long story short, she had to seek professional help. It's important to address mental health challenges by seeking professional help. Mental health challenges are real and seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. As Christians, we understand that healing can be a holistic process. This includes seeking guidance from mental health professionals alongside spiritual support. Embracing both can lead to comprehensive healing. Mental health professionals and pastors can work together to offer complete support. Endeavor to engage in open conversations about mental health with friends, family, and trusted colleagues. Also learn to set healthy boundaries in all aspects of your life to prevent burnout and protect your mental well-being. Here are more tips to prioritize your mental health. 1. Take social media breaks. It helps. It's really effective. It helps to declutter your mind. Avoid substance use. It's harmful. It only numbs the pain for a short while. So addiction rates is high. Raised to power a thousand. 3. Go outside. Get, get fresh hair. Cultivate connections. Move your body. Dance. Feel the rhythm of the music. Explore playfulness. Don't be rigid. Life's too short to worry about tomorrow. Express gratitude daily. And also endeavor to journal your thoughts. It's really important and it helps. Now here's the importance of prioritizing mental health. Prioritizing mental health cannot be overstated. Just as we invest time and effort into maintaining our physical health, nurturing our mental well-being, it's crucial for leading a fulfilling and balanced life. By breaking the stigma, understanding the mind-body connections, and adopting healthy habits, we can pave the way for a brighter and more resilient future. Remember, taking care of your mind is an investment that pays off in every facet of life. Now, let's discuss the unexpected and surprising benefits of making her mental health a priority. One is improved stress management. Now, one of the benefits of prioritizing mental health is to improve emotional well-being. And stress management is a key component of this. Finding meaning and purpose in life is just one of the many advantages of placing a high priority on mental health. Encouraging and prioritizing our mental health can have a significant effect on our general sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Now, by prioritizing mental health, individuals can tap into their inner resources, cultivate a sense of meaning, and live a more purposeful life. As we conclude today's episode, remember that prioritizing mental health honors God's creation of us by integrating prayer, practicing self-care and seeking support when needed. We can maintain a balanced and fulfilling life. Thank you for joining us today. If you have questions or would like to share your story, please feel free to drop them in the comment box or visit our social media platforms. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Until next time, may you find peace and strength in God's presence. Amen.